Hello everyone. Today we will be exploring Power Automate and recently there has been a, an announcement where we have heard about how you, we can use Microsoft uh, Power Automate um, and then create a flow using adaptive cards to reply to our messages in Teams. So let's see how we can do that and how we can enable it for a selected message in Teams. So let me drive you to the steps um, starting from the first that is first we'll go to our Microsoft Power of Automate profile and then sign in uh, using the environment that we are using for me is the Microsoft True and Ambassador and once you're in this um, particular page this is from where we'll start creating a new one. So as you can see on my left there are there are quite a number of options and from here we'll click on create so we'll click on instant flow and suppose let me name this as test okay so once you have named it so what do you do you are doing it for a selected message and then create so now that we have uh, started our flow for a selected message and as you can see that there is a Teams logo which says that for a selected message in Teams it will uh, reply something or it will do something. So let's see what it can do. So for that we will click on create adaptive card and by default it has the first name, email and phone number and as you can see it depends upon you as to what uh, elements that you want to add. Suppose I don't want to keep this phone number here, so I'll just uh, I'll just delete this. But I want um, the sender to send uh, to be able to send a text box. So for that, I'll just simply drag it here and keep it here. So this is uh, where uh, they can uh, reply to my text, and then for that, you also need to give a input text. Okay. So this is how, uh, so what they can reply is their name, their email ID and then they can uh, in this new text block, they can text block, they can also reply with the text suppose hi, how are you, and anything that they want. So here this is submit, if you want you can change this name to ok or anything and that is um, pretty much it. If you want you can go ahead and create a new card of your own and uh, this is what we have made and uh, let's close this and start with the next step so if you want you can go ahead and um, create this flow into a more advanced one using Azure DevOps but um, for this uh, particular one I'll just simply uh, like create a flow bot for it so I'll search create it uh, must be in its uh, preview form so yeah it's here as uh, post your uh, own adaptive card as the flow bot to the channel so it's in preview or to a user to a channel or any particular thing that you want uh, or you can um, if you want you can also write it post a message as a flow bot to a channel to a user so let me uh, choose it as post a message as the flow bot to a user so once I've done that and the headline is suppose Hi, this is a test message and if you want you can go and add the uh, you know that is you can go ahead and add the email address so for that uh, that is sender ID or sender email ID that you can use and the messages okay suppose uh, yeah hi how can I help and then you can simply save it if there is any problem in it uh, you'll get this option here in the flow checker that there is and there are some errors there are some warnings if there is not uh, you can go ahead and test it in this is in teams you cannot trigger it on your own so for that we'll go ahead to teams and uh, this is the channel that I'll be trying and using so suppose 
this is my friends and here in beside the emoticon box there is more options and here you will click on more options and uh, our bot name was test so let test be added to her chat so whenever Rita is texting me back my flow run will reply back as hi how can I help with the title that hi this is a test message this is how we can simply create a um, flow using Power Automate for Teams in just two simple uh, steps. So I really think that you will enjoy doing this because it's super easy and super fun to do. So I'll just uh, wait for Rita to send me the text and maybe I can also club it with the demo to show how this is actually working. I hope you have really found this e super easy and interesting to do and you will be coming up with your own flow bots very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.